So today po, ang topic naman po natin for the subject of physical science is stoichiometry. So ang uunahin po natin is mole to mole calculation, then after is volume to volume calculation kasi po ito po yung pinaka basic sa lahat. So ito po yung given problem natin. How many moles of hydrogen gas will be produced by the decomposition of 4 moles of NH3? Then ito po yung given equation na ibabalance po natin mamaya. So ngayon po para mas mapadali is isulat natin yung given and then yung unknown. So the given here is 4 moles of NH3. Then yung unknown or yung hinahanap po is yung moles of hydrogen gas. So ngayon po, i-balance po muna natin itong equation. Pa-balance po natin is paghihiwalay, hiwalayin po natin yung elements. So dito, N, H, then N, H. Ngayon po, bibilangan natin yung atoms. So dito, meron tayong Walang nakalagay dito. So, ibig sabihin, 1 lang po yan. Then, sa tabi ng H, merong 3. So, 3 hydrogen atoms. Then, dito, meron tayong 2 hydrogen atoms. And then, 2 nitrogen atoms. So, para po mabalance natin is ita times po natin ito sa number na dapat magiging equal dito which is minimum po ng number is 2 and maximum or largest number is 6. So, itry po natin. Dito, try natin. Ilagay natin dito is 2. So, 1 times 2 is 2. Then, 3 times 2 kasi may 2 na po sa gilid sa coefficient so, 3 times 2 is 6. Dito po nakikita natin yung nitrogen is equal or balanced na. Ang problema na lang is yung hydrogen. So, para mag-equal ito is, ita times po natin yung hydrogen sa 3. Para maging 6 po siya. So, 2 times 3 is equals to 6. Ngayon po, nakikita natin na balance na po pareho. So, ito po yung balance equation po natin. So, for our step 2 po or yung mismong computation na, ang una po natin gagawin is isusulat natin yung given which is 4 moles of NH3. Then, times yung unknown which is moles of H2. Then, ito po ulit given which is moles of NH3. So, kung napapansin nyo po may pattern yan, ito yung unknown, ito yung given. So, paano po ba natin malalaman kung ano yung ilalagay nating number dito? Para po malaman natin is, babalikan natin yung balance equation kanina. So, ano po ba yung moles of H2 dito? Ito po yung H2. Meron tayong 3. So, ilalagay natin dito is 3. Tapos yun sa moles naman po ng NH3, ito po yung NH3, meron tayong 2 na coefficient. So, ilalagay natin dito is 2. Then, tsaka po natin siya i-compute. So, 4 times 3 is equals to 12, then divided by 2. 6. Cancel po natin to since pareho. Ang natira is 6 moles of H2, which is ayun din po yung unknown moles of H2. Ayun po yung final answer natin for mole to mole calculation. Okay, so for our volume to volume calculation naman po, ito yung given question. Carbon monoxide reacts with oxygen to give carbon dioxide. Assuming all volume measurements are made of the same temperature and pressure, how many liters of oxygen are needed to produce 5 liters of carbon dioxide? So, ito po yung given equation natin. And ito po is nakabalance na. So, no need to do the step 1 which is yung balance part. Ngayon po, gawin po natin ulit yung mas mapapadali which is i-write natin yung given na 5 liters of 
carbon dioxide than the unknown or yung hinahanap, which is liters of oxygen. Okay, so next step po is yung solution or yung solving natin. Katulad lang po nung sa mole-to-mole -mole calculation, isusulat muna po natin yung nandun sa given, which is 5 liters of carbon dioxide. Then times, yung pattern kanina, which is yung unknown muna sa taas. Then, sa baba po is yung given. Ulitin ko po para po mahanap natin yung ilalagay natin sa tabi nito, dito po tayo mag-focus sa balance equation. So, napansin ko lang na mali pala yung sa balance equation. Ito po yung sa balance equation. na double ko yung sa oxygen. So, nakita po natin na walang coefficient yung sa oxygen. So, automatic, ang nakalagay dyan is 1. The next is yung sa carbon dioxide, which is ito po, and the coefficient niya is 2. So, katulad lang po ng process kanina, 5 times 1 which is obviously 5, then divided by 2. Ang sagot po is 2.5. Natira is liters of oxygen. So, ang sagot po natin dito is 2.5 liters of oxygen. Ayan po yung final answer natin sa pareho.